welcome back to another session of Financial Hacks with Set Properties Limited. Now, we're going to be talking about how to set financial goals today. What is a financial goal? A financial goal basically is a personal picture or objective that you set for yourself, which determines how you spend or save your money. Now, the financial goal can be long term or short term. When I say financial goal, I mean uh, when you set an objective to either save money to buy a car, save money to buy a house, or basically a retirement plan by investing. Then you're like, okay, when I retire, this is going to be my what's my benefits. So yeah, that's basically what a financial goal is. Your financial goal definitely influences your life. It determines the actions that you take in your life, especially when it comes to your money, your finances, and also your lifestyle. How do you set a financial goal? First of all, you need to find inspiration. It needs to be something that would encourage you to set this financial goal. Secondly, you need to examine your situation. This is where you get to be honest with yourself because you need to examine your finances, your expenses, your taxes, and this will determine the type of financial goal you should be going forward to. If you do not earn a lot, you might be working towards a short-term financial goal or if you're going to save at a, at a you know at a smaller pace you're going to end up setting a long-term financial goal so your current situation determines the type of financial goal you're going to set if you want to buy a house and you barely earn any income you know to eat or to clothe yourself that kind of financial goal seems almost impossible, except you want to pick a side hustle. Examining your current situation determines the type of financial goal you should set. Moving on, you need to write these financial goals down. When you've examined your situation and you can see that your finances is enough for you uh, to work towards this financial goal, then what you need to do is to write it down. There's something about writing things down. It has a real sticking in your mind. Sometimes when you are reading, you just don't want to read it. You want to read and write it down because what? It sticks to your heart. So when you write these financial goals down, you go back to it every day. It fills your determination to actually want to fulfill this financial goal. What you need to do next is to create a budget. After you've written your financial goal, you have to create a budget as to how this financial goal is actually going to be achieved. Now, you have to budget your expenses, as we know, your um, taxes, your income, and how you intend to work towards this financial goal, either monthly, biannually, annually, weekly, depending on you. Setting a budget makes you realize that, oh, this financial goal is halfway through. I set my budget, everything is in motion for me. You have the right motivation, you've written it down, you've examined your situation. Then there is no stopping you from achieving your financial goal. The last point is to treat yourself. We have this um, the tendency to overlook our self-care when we want to work towards our financial goals or when we decide to create a strict budget or when we decide to save our money to spend it effectively. Working towards a financial goal does not hinder you from having fun, from enjoying yourself, from treating yourself. So make it a point of duty to constantly create time for yourself, to reward yourself for the progress you are making towards achieving your financial goals today. Thank you for sticking around with us and as usual we're going to bring you more financial hacks from us at said properties as you know the only place and best place to be investing in right now is said properties limited thank you